Good morning. My name is Brenda Akinyi Muga. I'm here on behalf of the Cassava Action, the Cassava Virus Action Project. And uh, what we work on, we work on real-time diagnosis of cassava viruses for global food security. Uh, mainly we work with cassava. Cassava is an important crop. It's a staple food to over 8 million people in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, a healthy cassava produces about 35 to 40 tons per hectare. However, if it is infected by cassava viruses, the production decreases to less than 10 tons per hectare. The two major diseases that affect cassava are the cassava mosaic disease and the cassava brown streak disease. Um, early detection of these of the viruses causing these diseases is uh, the difference between is what is the difference between a farmer having food for the family or the family going hungry. Uh, one way, the major one way in which we identify the virus causing this disease is through DNA sequencing, and uh, normally it is very expensive to establish and maintain. Uh, DNA sequencing facility. So most labs in, in Africa prefer to outsource this service and uh, this normally takes three, three months or more. And this is a time that the farmer does not have. So uh, a team of technologists and scientists set out to develop a DNA sequencing protocol that is accurate, rapid, affordable, and uh, that this will allow them to advise farmers of early infection and uh, uh, provide and uh, once they, they advise the farmer they can get clean planting materials uh, so that they can get better yields. Uh, to do this uh, the sorry To do this, uh, we used uh, two important tools. We have the PDQX, which is for DNA extraction, and a tool called Minion, uh, and we normally call it uh, a nanopore for DNA sequencing. With these tools, we were able to diagnose the viruses in less than four hours, reducing that time from three months. And we did this under a tree in, in the farmer's field without electricity. We visited four farmers, we have Asha in Tanzania, Naomi from Uganda, Rose from Kenya, and also Mama Maina who was also from Kenya. One of the first farmers that we visited was uh, Asha, and uh, previously Asha could only get one ton per hectare from her field, but once we, we, were, once we went to her field, we identified the kind of virus that was affecting her field, we advised her on the right planting material to use, and we also provided the planting material. Uh, it was all smiles for her, and we, she also, we also gave the, the women group that she works with the planting material. Apart from working with farmers, we also train scientists on how to use the modern technologies to identify pests and diseases. And uh, we have trained over 200 scientists in agricultural research institutes and universities. Our mission is to use the latest technology uh, to positively impact the lives of 10 million farmers and their families in the next six years. We plan on doing this by training, uh, visiting more farmers, building more capacity, sequencing uh, other pathogens in different crops, and uh, scaling up our work by having training centers and using mobile apps. And we also hope to have more resources for the farmers, like clean planting material, so that they can get uh, better yields. Uh, we, we do this through teamwork and collaboration with other partners. Uh, what we are looking for right now is uh, funding for, uh, for more training and capacity buildings in the research institutes and the, the uh, universities. And we also hope to get funding for infrastructure to set up the the mobile phone app and uh, we also want to get more clean planting materials for the farmers um, and uh, so that they can be more food secure 
and we also want to have uh, partnerships with research and educational institutes to set up training centers and we also appreciate the visibility that this um, meeting is offering us so that we can connect with other scientists and use technology to improve the lives of smallholder farmers. Thank you.